Today, I'm totally excited. I just got my most recent box from Crowd Cow. It's gonna be some Wagyu beef and a couple other products that we're gonna try out. Um, if you're not familiar with Crowd Cow, they are an online meat delivery service. If you haven't tried them yet, there's a promo code in the description of this video for $50 off your first box. So, I've ordered quite a few things from Cow, Crowd Cow. And my favorite is definitely the Wagyu beef. Where I live, you can't get Wagyu beef. So I have it shipped to me. It's reasonably be priced. And it usually comes pretty frozen and fresh. So, let's take a look inside the box. They give you some nice little notes. Some... Instructions on preparing it, crowd cow organic chicken. All right, let's find something delicious. All right, so everything comes wrapped as you, the box is still freezing. Comes with a bunch of dry ice in it. So the first thing we got are, we got some Wagyu ground beef burger patties. They're still totally rock solid. They're running a promotion. And so we decided to pick some of these up as a little special bonus. We got some heirloom chicken party wings, pasture-raised heirloom chicken party wings. So we're going to find some fun way to cook those up. Also as part of the promotion, they had uncured American Wagyu beef and heritage pork blend to uncured hot dogs. Part of the promotion, those came with, you ordered a certain amount and you got those. So, the main thing I was looking for was the Wagyu beef. So we have a few different cuts. Wagyu beef, Kagoshima, Japan, crowd cow. Let's get in here and see what it looks like. All right, so they are still pretty frozen. Look at the marbling on that bad boy. Is that a ribeye? This one looks different. I can't read exactly what it is, and I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what I ordered, so let's... If anyone can translate that for me, will ya? Has anyone had Wagyu beef? I mean, do they... Do they like it? That one... I like that one better than the other one. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, so they're both incredibly marbled. But I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one better because just when this fat cooks down, it just turns into deliciousness. All right, so I'm guessing these two are the same. Let's check them out. We got another. Oh, it's on the back. There we go. So we got a A5 Wagyu. Petite ribeye steak. So that's going to be the same as this other one. Ribeye steak. Let's see what this one is. Oh, Crowd Cow Hakiadu Wagyu Petite Strip Loin. So I'm thinking the strip loin might be a little better than ribeyes. We got, what is this? This is different. This is a Wagyu Petite. Strip loin steak? Because this one looks a little different, so I have to go back and figure out which one is the better quality of the two. Something I'm really excited about are these Crowd Cow Wagyu Beef Skewers. One second, find my knife. Now, don't these look fun? So. We're gonna let these thaw out, we're gonna grill these up, stick around, we're gonna check it all out and hopefully eat something delicious. Last thing, attention please. All right, so it's time to get some of these bad Wagyu's on the griddle. First thing we're gonna do is get our burgers on. I'm just gonna use some Blackstone griddle, salt and pepper, garlic rub, and get these burgers smoking. Uh, besides that, for griddle, grillables in our box, we got some uh, Wagyu hot dogs. So let's go ahead and get those on the grill. And just give them a second to heat up. Now, the next thing we're going to do is realize that we don't have a very large spatula because we are not at home. And oh, 
the dogs look like they're cooking up a little pretty well, so let's go ahead and get them turned. Then we're going to deal with our spatula problems in a second here. Uh, the dogs seem nice and firm, so we're happy with that. Go ahead and move it around a little bit. All right, where's that tiny little spatula? So we're gonna have, these, these Wagyu burgers do have a bit of fat in them, so you can expect a flare up. Yeah, this just looks a little silly, so. <laughs> yeah, those are some fatty burgers. Let's go for this next one with our little micro spatula. Ah, it's getting a little hot. Nope. All right, need some protection. Crowd cow oven mitt. That's not gonna catch on fire, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to flip this burger again. Yeah, it's a little easier on the hands. I can smell the hair on my knuckles burning. So we went ahead and got the burger slipped. Let's give them a couple minutes to finish up cooking. All right, dogs look done. Let's get them off. Nice and crispy, I like the skin. Let's go ahead and finish them with a little of this Bochan's Japanese barbecue sauce. Extra spicy. And give me a second to try this out. It's got a nice snap to the dog. Looks good. Let's eat it. Looks good. Tastes good. Overall, I'm very happy with this hot dog. Alright, so... Let's finish off our burgers while we eat and they look like they're about done let's go ahead and get them off before this whole thing catches on fire with all the extra delicious wagyu beef fat oven mitt oh yeah looks dangerous never thought it's gonna be too dangerous to cook a burger but yeah we'll go ahead and let the thing burn. Alright, so coming up we have uh, something a little special. It's another one of these Bochan's sweet and spicy barbecue sauces. Go ahead, go ahead and hit that on the burgers and let it caramelize a little bit before we... If you haven't, had, if you haven't tried this sauce yet, it's, it's, it's a good sauce. It is delicious. It's got that unami flavor. All right, I think everything's caramelized up. Cause that burger's catching on fire. I think it's about time to get them off. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Please don't catch your hands on fire while making these burgers. And I do apologize. All footage might not be acceptable to all vegans. So, viewer discretion is advised. But, we safely got the burgers off the grill. We're going to turn off the propane and get them inside. So, first impressions, they look like burgers. I hope they're delicious. Going for a little medium burger here. But, yeah, you know what? That actually looks like a medium. So, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Let's go ahead and give that burger a try. It tastes like a nice, fatty, Wagyu burger. So I would say, yes, this, this, this was a success. I am happy with the Crowd Cow Wagyu burgers. Thumbs up. All right, so now for our prize possession, the Wagyu beef skewers. We're going to cook them in our Lodge skillet on the grill. Nice, fatty, and beef. So... Let's go ahead and get them on. I've had my lodge skillet, or my lodge uh, pan heating up. It's on the Weber grill. We're going to get these skewers on and just give them a good sear all around. Hopefully they come out delicious because this is not a cheap item. We're getting flipped. They are starting to fall apart. It might be because my grill's a little 
not seasons enough. Uh, so we got them cooked up. We're going to use some of this fancy Mall Don Irish Flake Sea Salt. If you haven't seen the Mall Don Sea Salt before, it is pretty fancy and it does taste delicious. So that's your overall product. Nicely seared Wagyu beef scores on each skewers on each side. And let's give it. Yeah. Yep. 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 That is delicious. So I would say this Crowd Cow Wagyu beef box is a win. If you're looking for something special, you're looking for a good burger, you're looking for a hot dog, I would say definitely check out Crowd Cow.